Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my yearly tradition of Eid Get Ready With Me. I do this video every year. This is my third one. I started my channel with this video, so it's a very special one for me. I really was not going to film this because Eid this year is very close to my exams, but I really want to keep up the tradition. You're on my channel of every year giving you all an Eid Get Ready With Me video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you'll have an amazing Eid. You'll have an amazing and blessed Ramzan. And if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face. Let's start with my base makeup first. Since this is Eid makeup, it's going to be my tried and true products. So don't tell me I use the same thing all the time because I love these products. Starting with my Smashbox Oil Free Pore Minimizing Primer that fudges very gloriously but enough from the top. Next, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 370 Warm. Using my Laura Mercier powder to set my face. Using my Colourpop Press Powder Bronzer in the shade Rodeo Drive. Taking this on the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. For blush, I'm using the Colourpop Feel the Rain Blush Duo. And this blush is one of my favourite mauve blushes. And it's so long lasting, so that's why I'm choosing this today. Oh, I love this blush so much. I'm going a little pinky, rosy, heavy on the makeup because my dress is like baby pink, more muted and it's not that loud. It's the dupatta is more loud than anything, so the dress is very subtle. So that's why I'm going to try to make my makeup a tad bit darker and a tad bit more expressive than usual. I'm using my NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray to set my face. I wanted to highlight it at the last to add that glow. So for now, I'll just set all of these powders in place uh, and then we can move on to the eyes. So I'll zoom you guys in so that you all can have a closer look at my eye makeup. Okay, so I think you guys saw that I applied concealer and powder on my eyelids. So my eyelids are primed, prepped and ready for eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Dose of Colors Desi X KD Eyeshadow Palette. This is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. If I do this, uh, there's a blue shade over here that is totally shattered. So I'm going to very carefully open it like this and uh, hope that nothing falls on my kurti. Yeah. So barring the blue shade, you can tell that this is a gorgeous shadow palette. These two colors are going to be my primary focus today. This pink right here and the shimmery Just a Kiss. The pink is called Girl Pie and this is called Just a Kiss. So I'm going to focus my attention and my look around these colors uh, because they are not exactly my Kurti's colors but they are gorgeous pinks in my collection and I have waited to use them since I got the palette. So why not? So I'm starting with the shade Churo which is a matte brown. I'm sorry I cannot tilt this palette any more than that. Uh, so I'm taking this on a pack 311 brush which is a tapered blending brush and putting this on the outer corners and dragging a little bit on the inside. I really don't know what look I'm going for, we're just going to roll with it, I just know which shades I'm using. Now taking a little bit of the darker brown, the second colour from the top which is called Jeans. You can look up online what the colors look like and on my eyes and use anything similar to this because of course not everyone will have this palette. So if you're trying to recreate this look, you can use anything similar to it. I'm going very close to the lash line over here. Very very close to it and just placing it on the outer corners. Not blending it inside, nothing, just placing it. Taking the same other blending brush and making sure everything's well blended in. Uh, this one I've not added any more color to. Taking a little bit of the concealer and cleaning up on the lid. Mm -hmm. 
taking the shade necessary on the pack 310 this is a very uh, flat matte brown like you can see from my eyelid it's something it's a necessary shade in your skin it's a matte brown very close to my skin tone So this is the shade just a kiss on my finger it's a beautiful color and i'm going to put it everywhere that i put the concealer and the shade necessary Every now and then you should take a blending brush the one which you use first in your crease or not taking any excess product and just making sure you're blending everything so that nothing looks very harsh seamless or out of place even though i did use a cut crease i didn't want it to look like a cut crease i just wanted the shimmer to outstand so that's what i've done now for the lower lash line i think i'm going to use that pink uh otherwise it will look very odd so first i'm going to cool okay so for kajal i'm using the nika im 24 by 7 kajal this is very long lasting and one of the best kajals in my drawer right now but it burns my eyes like anything so i'm going to give that sacrifice for the side look see how pigmented that is it just changes the eye green okay, now i've taken the shade girl by on this elf detail crease brush the pink color that i was talking about and i'm going to put it on my lower lash line using the nix epic ink liner for my eyes for my brows i'm using the mini so uh, eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown i've been using the mini so eye products on a daily basis now and i want to say that i'm really really impressed or uh, they have some good eye pencils out there i've not yet used the setting powder and uh, the other products or uh, the lipstick is also so so it's not very long lasting and the color selection is uh, very uh, but um, the eyebrow pencil the eyeliner everything of those sorts which i bought i really really am enjoying it the other side of this has a spoolie also so that's so convenient going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara using the nix what the hype mascara okay so i'm going to add some lashes and be right back Okay, so I've added the Glomier Beauty Precious Eyelashes uh, for highlighter using the Maybelline Metallic Chrome Highlighter in the shade Gold, Molten Gold. Taking a little bit on the pencil brush and making sure I highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Once again, I'm going to spritz my face with the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray. For lipstick, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip uh, in the shade Lightweight. I think I like it just like this. This is, I think, a perfect in between nude. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it just like this. I was gonna top it off with the Kat Von D Ultra Matte, but I think I'm really liking this. For earrings, I'm adding this pair I got from Manish Market. I actually didn't even go shopping this time. My mom bought this for me, so this is not very matchy matchy with my outfit, but it'll do. So guys, this is it. This is the completed and finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that the tradition goes on, and I film a video like every Eid. So I hope you guys enjoyed and liked it. If you did actually like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and show your support. Uh, click on the subscribe button because I make videos every Sunday. This is a bonus one, and there will be one this Sunday, but I might be missing the few Sundays after that. Maybe two Sundays. So forgive me for that in advance. Click on the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you are new here, please please join our family. Our family is almost ten thousand subscribers strong. So I'm so grateful for that. And I will see you in my next video next Sunday. Bye guys. Eid Mubarak. I love you all. Mwah.